Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up your Apple Watch. So this is a brand new Apple Watch. And it doesn't really matter which gen you've got. It's going to be the exact same instructions for all of them, actually. Anyways, let's just get started. So right here, we've got this. You've got all this in your box, right? Plus this. So let's start off with the basics. Before you set it up, make sure you've got enough battery. They do come charged, but sometimes the battery is a little bit low. So to charge it up, all you need to do is hook up this end of the cable to your computer, this USB-C. Or you can buy a brick from Apple. So go ahead and buy a brick, hook this up, and then your Apple Watch, you can place it right here. Once you do that, you're gonna notice that this will just go on and turn on. Just let it be. Let it charge for a little bit. I would say five, 10 minutes is good enough to just get this started and set it up. We don't need that much battery. And once you're done that, you can just take it off. You're gonna notice that it's magnetic, so you can only place it one way. If you try to place it that way, it's not gonna go on, but this way it's gonna snap in and it just stays. Anyways, let's just take that off. So that's how you charge this. Second, how do you guys put this on? Well, it's actually really, really simple to install this on an Apple Watch. So first of all, decide which one you think might work. You can always change it later on. But for now, we're just gonna try this little one. And before I place it on, I wanna note how you take this off. Well. You see this right here and this right here? Those are buttons. You can press on them. That's to unlock this because it becomes locked once we put it in there. All right, so this part goes down. So we have to put it like this. The easiest way to put this in is to bend it down just a little bit. And then you're just going to slide it in this way. It's going to lock in. You won't be able to move it out of there. Same goes with this side. And again, if you try to put it in without actually... There you go. Bending it a little bit, you're gonna have a difficult time. But on that, it's not, you know, that difficult to put this in. It's not gonna move from there to unlock these and to take them out. So if you wanna take out these bands, all you guys have to do is just press right here on this button, then just slide it up. That's it. We can just put it back in, and that's it. So that's how you guys can take out the bands from both sides. It's gonna be the same thing. You have that button on the back. At this point, most likely you guys turned it on by mistake already because it's very easy to press down on this or this and it's just gonna turn on. So just make sure to have your iPhone right beside it. So here's my iPhone. So it doesn't really matter which iPhone you guys got, it's gonna be the exact same instructions for all of you. We're gonna go on and turn on our Apple Watch. We just have to hold on to the power button. So that's this button right here. So if you're powering this on for the very first time, that's what you need to hold on to until you see the Apple logo. If you don't see that, just let it charge a little bit more. And then we just leave it, leave it. And it's going to tell us to just have it beside our phone right here. So we're just going to leave it beside our phone. Then we want to have our iPhone, Bluetooth, and everything turned on, Wi-Fi as well. So it detects it. So right now, it just detected everything. We're good to go. We can go on with the setup. Press on continue. And here we go. So the first screen you're going to see is this. Just press on allow. Then I guess this does depend on you guys if you're setting up for a family member or for yourselves most likely it's for yourselves so go for your first option so at this point it's gonna ask you to scan so you will see this right here you're gonna see your camera so just place it on top it's gonna scan that it's very important that it can scan that so that way you can pair so right now it's pairing as you guys can see and i turned down my lights just so you guys can see the screen better but don't turn on your lights <laughs> so set up apple watch then we're gonna see this, which hand do you guys use your watch on? So in my case, it's usually my right hand. You guys can change this later on. By the way, all these preferences, this whole setup, we can change later on in our settings. You can do that from your phone or from your Apple Watch. It's usually easier from your phone itself. Go continue this right here. Again, you guys can go on and change this later on. All right, so this part. This part just means, see this right here, this button? That's how you guys can know what's going on here. It's gonna show you in these pictures what you guys want to be the upside. So I'm gonna put on my watch like this. So that means I want this to be the top, which that means I'm gonna select the second option. That's for me. You guys can select whatever you would like. Press agree. You can add a passcode. So does this mean you have to put in a passcode anytime you want to look into your Apple Watch? No, it's only when you take it off then it's gonna require that. Once you have it on you, it's not gonna ask for that passcode, so it's not gonna get annoying. So what I recommend is always adding a passcode just in case you lose it or anything like that. So right here on your phone, it's gonna say create passcode. 
and on your actual Apple Watch, you have to type that in. So it's four digits, or you can create a longer one if you like. Once you put in that passcode, you're gonna go to this right here. So it's good to have your Apple Watch right beside you so you know what's going on. You can do bold text, you can do smaller text. For me, this text is really big. Let me just show you. You can move this around, make it bigger, 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 or smaller, 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 or really tiny. In my case, I like it just around there. I'm gonna go into continue on. And this right here is just telling you that it's sharing your settings between the two, which is perfect. Right here, you can go on and set this up right now. This is just to personalize your fitness and health. You don't have to. You can just go into continue on without setting up anything. Plus you do have the wheelchair option at this point as well. All right, so once you press continue, you're gonna see this screen. This is for your activity. You guys can set that up later or right now. It's just to keep you moving if you want. So let's just show you how that works. You can always skip that. So right here, you can set up your goal of what you want, how many calories. I'm gonna go into how active I would like to be. Well, highly active, but we're actually gonna do that because I do wanna be highly active. I don't think that's that much actually. So we're gonna set move goal, daily exercise goal. You can set up 30 minutes or less, doesn't matter. So here is our daily stand-up goal. So just standing. I think this is a bit much, but we're just gonna set it up. Now you can go ahead and set up to track, but you don't have to, you can just disable track. I recommend tracking. Now this is for notifications. I think it's good to have them on. They get annoying, you can turn them off later on. I'm gonna continue on. It's gonna ask you some personal information, like are you taking like this stuff right here? That, uh, for me at least, no, luckily. Safety, we're just gonna continue on. And right now, instead of paying with your phone, you could pay with your Apple Watch, which is awesome. So you can set up that later in the app, or we can continue on right now. We're just gonna set that up later on, the payment always on display. That just explains what that is. Now, this is up to you, what you like. You like a list view of things or this grid. Again, you can change this up later on if you wanna change your mind. I think the grid view is awesome to just scroll through things. Uh, you do kind of have to guess what they are just uh, based on upon how they look like. And right here, if you pick this list view, it does tell you which one, what is each one. So if you're really new to iPhones, I would select this. If you had an iPhone before, then this will make sense. You're just gonna get the hand of it really quick. So right now it's syncing. And this is basically the most important part because right now it's syncing your iPhone to your Apple Watch. At this point, we can just tap on get to know your watch, which is good. And you can see exactly what you can do. You can explore more stuff. And we're just going to hit undone. That's something to do. Now device added to your account. Okay. Our Apple Watch will just restart in a minute. And yes, this will tell us once it's done. So you can just let it be for now and then come back to it. All right. So once it's ready, you're going to see a screen. If you don't have it on, you have to type in your passcode. And yeah, you're gonna just see that screen. On your phone, on the other hand, you're gonna see this. Just go okay. So right here, you can change your faces and do a lot of customization. So for example, you can tap here and you can change it through all this. You have a bunch of stuff here. And right here, you can even customize even more. So there's a lot of stuff. Plus you can even remove watch face. So that's interesting. There's also a gallery where you can go and just check those out. There's a ton of them. There's really nice ones. So let me just show you this one, for example. You can set it up with uh, gray, green. There's lots of stuff. I'm just gonna add this just to show you. So it's being added to our faces. So right now that's being added. We can just go on and take a look at more stuff here. There's a lot to go through and a lot of options you guys can go through and change up. So make sure to check those out. But as far as the setup, you're pretty much done. You're ready to go and just use your Apple Watch. Anytime you wanna change anything, you could do it from your Apple Watch, or you can go into your phone and just look for this app that's called Watch and just take care of any changes right there. But right now, you guys can see the face that I chose. It changed to that already. So here it is, that's how it looks like. And we're pretty much done with this setup. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.